How's it going YouTube and vinyl community? This is Nathan, otherwise known as Nate Great 321 making my official introduction into the VC. Uh, I've been watching vinyl community videos and collecting records myself for about two years, and I finally buckled down and got a camera and decided to start making videos myself. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a while, and so thank you for joining me uh, on this journey here. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm a freaking poster on Reddit, under the R Vinyl subreddit, so some of you may have even talked with me there and not even known it. Um, I'm there under the same name, Nategrade321, if you want to find me on there. I also recently joined the Facebook group, the Vinyl Community group, so I look forward to uh, sharing pictures and videos and interacting with some of you on there as well. Now there probably are some of you out there that are watching this video that were previously subscribed to me because of my gaming channel. Um, I've had this channel for quite a few years and I previously posted videos about collecting retro video games, which was what I collected before I did records. Um, I haven't done that in quite some time, so I really appreciate you sticking around this long if you have, but uh, unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be posting any video game videos here in the near future. Uh, I've stopped collecting those, it's become a little too expensive, and to be honest I have most of the stuff I wanted anyway. Um, so you're welcome to stick around if you want, uh, if you're interested in vinyl or music or anything like that, but if you're not, I'm not going to be offended if you unsubscribe, but thanks anyway for sticking around, I really appreciate the support you gave me over the last several years before uh, my venture into the vinyl community. A little bit more about myself. My name is Nathan, I'm 28 years old. I've lived and worked in western Alabama for the last four or five years. I'm originally from the North Chicago suburbs. As far as my collecting habits go, I have a few local stores that I check probably about once a week. And then the nearest city to me is Birmingham. And if I have a free weekend, maybe on a Saturday, I'll head out there they have a couple good stores there as well. I've got plenty of good stuff up there. Um, I will buy on eBay if necessary. I prefer not to, but obviously if there's something rare or an import or something that I'm looking at, I'll go ahead and buy it if the price is right. I've bought a handful of things on eBay and gotten some really good deals. And so far I've been pleasantly surprised with the condition I've got them in as well. Now I wouldn't say that I'm a picky collector because I have a pretty wide range of genres and styles that I enjoy. But at the same time, I'm not the kind of collector that's just going to go into a dollar bin and pick out any dusty record just because the cover looked interesting. I try to be somewhat selective uh, as far as price, as far as condition, and make sure the stuff that I'm bringing into the collection is something I'm going to actually enjoy. Now that being said, since I started collecting records, I've been introduced to a whole lot of new artists and genres and styles that I was really never familiar with before and have really grown to like. Um, so I think if you watch and you see some of my pickups, you'll see some of that variety. As far as what I'm into right now, I think the main sort of decade that I enjoy the most is probably 80s. Um, I obviously dabble in some 70s and earlier stuff as well, depending on what it is, but I think for the most part, 80s and maybe more specifically early 80s, kind of new wave, post-punk, alternative kind of stuff is what I really enjoy right now. That's not to say that I can't change over time, but at least that's kind of what I'm focusing on right now. Now in high school, my friends and I were really, really heavy metal heads. We were really into thrash metal. Um, we had the long hair and the denim vest with the patches on it and I played guitar and had a couple other friends that played instruments we jam all the time. Um, so that still is represented a little bit in my collection. I have a handful of you know, Metallica and Anthrax and Slayer and things like that that I pop in every once in a while but not nearly as much as I used to. Obviously your kind of classic rock, hard rock staples, you know, the Pink Floyds and Led Zeppelins and stuff throughout the 70s I do tend to enjoy. And so that's a little bit about myself and my channel. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you subscribe and stay tuned and join me on this final journey and allow me to share my collection with you and interact with you guys. I'm really looking forward to it. So for now, this is Nate Gray321. Sign out.